Hello everyone, Pally Tub here, and welcome to the first episode of Demon Souls. Yes, that is right. We managed to get our hands onto a PlayStation 5. My friend Mucka at 4 in the morning got an alert that they were restocked on Amazon and picked one up for us so we could make this series. Yes, we did say the next Souls game that we were going to play was going to be Bloodborne. We're just going to play that next. I'm really excited to have my hands on a new console and really excited to jump into Demon Souls again. Uh, the Souls game that we've only beat one time. Same as Bloodborne, I guess. Uh, the beginning of Demon Souls is kind of weird because you can't co-op until the first boss has been defeated. So I thought today we would make our first character, play through a little bit of the game, and then episode two will be us watching Tim retrace our steps <laughs> and just kind of seeing how our uh, experience differs. I think that's a good way of, good way of point it, putting it. Uh, I wanted to play as a archer. We did a bow only challenge in Dark Souls 1 and it had some really cool results. However, I don't think I'm going to do exclusively bow only, like 95% bow is. The Our name is going to be Goff, named after the legendary archer, but not exactly named after him. <laughs> it was like our parents heard the name, but they weren't sure how to spell it. Uh, do any of these start with a bow? The hunter indeed does. Looks like they have a long bow of some kind. The thief starts with a bow and also starts with a dagger, which is right up my alley. That's actually the two weapons I was planning on using. The barbarian starts with two clubs. Wanderer is not what we want. So we're either going to start with an axe and a bow or as a thief with a dagger and a bow. So I think we're going to go with thief. As far as our starting gift, I don't um, really remember. Uh, the the meta in this game for that, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go with the pre prevential ring. What it does is it allows items to drop more commonly for us, so we can gather up materials easier. Now you can do luck builds in Demon Souls if memory serves. That focuses on item discovery, uh, but we are not gonna do that. Let's get our appearance altered. Oh, you got so many scars, you poor thing. It's nice of them to add orcs into the preset. There's also a guy over here that's just a dwarf. And then they added in Barney the Dinosaur. I think this is going to be our guy. I think this is Goth. He's got markings around his eyes because that's where all of his power comes from. Well, why did it change? That's where all of his power comes from. That's what we're going to go with. Oh, that actually looks sick with the mask up. Hello? All right, Goff, the thief, starting with the ring that I can't say. They actually let you adjust quite a bit of things. Your walking style can be altered. You can change your vocals quite a bit. I'm happy with our choices. Let's go ahead and finalize it. King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Volataria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Volataria's plight. That the old King Alant had roused the Old One, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless folk had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly, 
Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fissure to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. Pure of the Twin Fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbane. Skurva the Wanderer. The sick Saint Astria with her knight Gal Vinland. And Sage Freak the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Would you like to play the journey to the Nexus? Yes, I would. We did some testing. I did a whole shit ton of color correction to get our capture card to look anything close to what it looks like right now. Brave it was the most dark, dim, bad. colorless video I've ever seen. So hopefully you, you guys like what we've done with it. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. The outpost passage is the beginning of the game. This game, when you're in a dark area, can be extremely dark. And then the bright areas look extremely bright until you get into them and your eyes kind of adjust. So in a way that's very close to real life. So let's set some expectations with the character. I don't want to walk up to enemies and, and be like, I'm gonna kill you. That's not what I'm interested in. I don't want to use my melee weapon for that. What my dagger here is for is pinpoint attacks. We're talking about parries, backstabs, reposts. That's what our dagger is for, for driving it in for a single hit on an enemy who left themselves exposed. Our main bread and butter, I hope, is going to be our bow. Right now, we only have 20 arrow shots, so we are going to have to accumulate quite a few more if we want to use it reliably. Really, really dark in here. And don't worry, we can continue to do some color corrections along the way as well. So this guy charged forward with his blade. He hit us for a little bit of damage. Uh, I don't believe we have a kick, but... Look at those brutal parry attacks, my dude. Absolutely stunning. Messages on the ground left by other players, also by the game, to help give you some guidance through this area. This is basically the tutorial. Come on, my dudes. Here, let's back up and try the bow. So how do I pull it back? Do I have to aim? Ah, I see it's the right trigger that shoots it. So if we just lock onto these guys and pull it back, we can hold it for quite a while. It does 34 damage, or we can hit left bumper and manually aim this thing. I can't even fucking see this guy. <laughs> but he's still got the headshot. You see what I mean about the lighting changing really drastically depending on where your character is? It's going to be very difficult to balance that for viewing on YouTube. That's one thing we always try to consider here is um, uh, the renderer on YouTube typically makes things pretty dark. I'm trying to backstab him. It's not working. There it is. We got it. So we always try to adjust the brightness to compensate for that. But then you run into some issues where you don't want the game to look totally washed out. And that is something we are trying 
to avoid. But man, these transitions into these big open areas are so impressive. And if you didn't notice, that parry animation, or the I guess the riposte animation, where we attacked back at that enemy, totally brand new. They are absolutely brutal, too. We were messing around with a knight and just using a uh, two-hand sword. And oh my god, we were ripping people apart. It was disgusting. One thing Demon Souls does that the rest of the Soul games do not aside. Well, I guess they do partially. Uh, a lot of your healing comes from different herbs that you find on the ground and not from Estus. So we are going to have to probably at some point farm some materials to uh, sustain ourselves Whereas in a lot of Dark Souls games, you have this juice that refills every time you sit down at the fire. And again, using my dagger, like I said I wanted to, precision strikes, not swinging it wildly, only capitalizing on openings of these enemies, sliding that dagger in for maximum damage. I'm not looking to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and trade with people. That's why when those two guys walked up, that's when I backed up and started using the bow. And I figure... This will give Tim a good opportunity to be the aggressor, walk in, attack stuff. This is going to be a co-op playthrough after all. That ledge up there, just in case you're wondering how I got down, Demon Souls does have a climbing mechanic, and we were able to use that ledge. Uh, press forward and the roll button, so B on an Xbox controller. But I guess it's... I can't say... I, I have to trust myself on every single button press because I live and die by X Xbox controller buttons. And when I start thinking about PlayStation buttons, my brain just stops working. I get them all, all jumbled. So bear with me on that. This guy's coming in pretty aggressively. Left his back open. Let's take him down there. There are some pretty difficult enemies coming up. Let's see if we can approach him with the bow. 17 shots remained. Oh, here he comes. So aiming might be a little hard. That was 47 for just a quick shot. If we hold it. Ooh, miss. Still 47. I'm trying to see if this game does anything weird with the... Uh, orientation of the crosshair like you couldn't actually trust the dark souls one crosshair when we did the bow run you had to aim like up and to the left or something just as an example i don't know if that's actually true but um it seems like the crosshair might be okay getting into a pretty dark area here and we have our first blue knight coming up so we'll start off with a shot to the head 35 damage he's moving in daggers out Went for the parry there, but I missed it, so we're going to back up. Beautiful. I believe there's one more up ahead, using the same weapon as well. One of the most beautiful things about this game is it goes back to the original parry timers! I can actually parry! And of course, the dagger does bonus damage on reposts and backstabs. So if I'm going into this looking for a particular play style, which is capitalizing on those weaknesses, we're already using one of the best weapons for that. Half moon grass on the ground. Uh, most of our healing is done by eating that grass. And enemies do drop it as we go. Oh, are we about to be in an archer fight, my dude? You should try, um, moving. Moving is pretty good. Eight shots left with the bow. That's one thing we're going to have to balance while we're playing in co-op. I mean, um, I'm usually pretty okay at hanging on to my souls when I'm trying to. Uh, but we are going to have to partition a decent number of those souls just for buying arrows. So Tim may or may not get a little bit ahead of us on levels that remains to be seen, I guess. Good backstab here. Oh, another archer fight. 
Aim for the head. Ah! <laughs> I made him a unicorn. Oh, uh, we're getting into the fog just to reveal it. Oh, never mind. We got a guy coming straight for us. I swear. I think I'm getting the timer right. Oh, that's a quick swing, my dude. You fast. But I'm faster. Crescent moon grass on the ground there. I don't remember if there's any other collectibles on the sides in here or not, but, um... That was certainly an odd noise. One thing I like about Demon Souls a lot is if you are really good at the game... <laughs> and you could go up against this first boss with, uh... Without taking any damage, if you can defeat the boss, you get a different outro to the tutorial. I'll give it a go. Oh, you look so fucking cool! Oh yeah, that's gonna be a long kill. We just did 62 damage. He's going for the swing behind his back. As long as we time our stuff relatively well, we should be okay. You can see his skin rippling as he moves. Oh, it's the butt slam! Again, this is what I don't really want to do with this build. I don't want to get in and just trade like this. So for bosses going forward, I'm going to try to do it as much as at range as I can. Um, however, I only got eight arrow six arrows left. Even fewer than I thought. The butt slam. As long as we stay away from that axe, we should be okay. Give ourselves plenty of room to move. What's this little tentacle hanging off the front of him? Into another butt slam. We've got a third of his health down so far. And again, you are expected to lose this fight in the tutorial. That was a big cleave. Going off to the right. He's not a super fast enemy or anything. Oh, back it up. Butt slam. I think we probably picked the worst weapon for this. Any of the other, like, axes or swords would chip away this guy much faster. We, of course, have to make sure we're managing our stamina okay. Yeah, you just keep swinging. I think he only has three moves. Butt slam. Wasn't behind him there, was a little nervous. Butt slam again. He's below half. We're doing it. Some people get mad at me for not locking on. I'm just so used to playing the game, like, with free movement at this point. I used to lock on constantly. It was the only way I could play. Uh. Oh, my God. God damn it, you hit me once, I guess you win. Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not quit the Nexus. But the five archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. And this is going to be basically the Firelink Shrine of this game. There's a few NPCs around that you could talk to to help out with various things. Do I even have souls right now? You here. 
Are you here for my services? The Nate's simple. I am here for your services. You In trade, I'll give you weapons or, or forge the, the ones you already souls. have. So this is the blacksmith. Uh, we're definitely going to need to purchase a ton of arrows for him. They are 20 souls apiece. So we're only able to buy Do come back a alive. few arrows. Um, this game has teleporting at its heart. So this first shrine on the left is world 1-1, 2-1, 3-1, 4-1, 5-1, 6-1, 7-1, 8-1, 9-1, 10-1, 11-1, 12-1, 13-1, 14-1, 15-1, 16-1, 17-1, 18-1, 19-1, 20-1, 